Welcome to Tribulation Radio. Our broadcast today is Finding Answers to Life's Problems. Today we continue our series of broadcasts that proclaim that God has given us everything we need for life and godliness. As the church prepares to celebrate the resurrection of our Savior, Jesus Christ, unfortunately, many in the world don't feel much like celebrating. A dark shadow has been cast over the world from an increase in rampant lawlessness to the destabilization of other nations. The stress level of the world's population is off the scale due to fear of catastrophic natural disasters, impending pandemics, the possibility of a world war, or an increase in bloody persecution of Christians. The world is faced with a multitude of problems. In our struggle to walk as children of light in a dark world, we have all lost many battles to the old sin nature and the enemy. Many Christians who are burdened with life's problems find little accurate and authoritative counsel from others. For many, they find little comfort or direction from the Bible, which has resulted in a life of bondage to emotional and psychological problems, forcing them to the world's counselors to find a cure. Oftentimes, in desperation, they have readily accepted the remedy of psychotropic, mind-altering drugs, leading to a life of addiction, other dependence, and spiritual depression. By God's grace, I want to spare you of that. We will be back in less than a minute after Paula Dispro introduces our show with heavenly music in a short video. Remember to stay tuned for later in the show when Paula sings a different song each week to the glory of God. We can be assured when we go to God that His divine power is sufficient to meet all of our needs in this life along with everything needed to make us godly. The Bible says His divine power has given us everything we need for life and godliness through our knowledge of Him who called us by His own glory and goodness. 2 Peter 1.3 This gift is made available to us through the knowledge of Jesus Christ. That is, through the ministry of His Son, everything needed was given to us and was recorded in the Bible. Remember what Jesus Christ said? I have much more to say to you, more than you can bear. But when He, the Spirit of truth, comes, He will guide you into all truth. John 16, 12, and 13. And so He did. All of this truth, more than His disciples could bear, was written down through the inspiration of the Holy Spirit. Remarkably, after thousands of years, these sacred writings were preserved and published as our modern-day Bibles. So if we know that's where the knowledge is located, to give us everything we need for life and godliness, then I think we would want to spend an enormous amount of time learning and applying that truth to our lives. On the other hand, many people in the world seek answers to their problems from the world's counselors because they no longer believe that God has the answer. They don't believe the good news that God's Word in the Bible is sufficient for all of life. When Satan cast his flaming arrows of depression, anxiety, loneliness, guilt, or many other emotional and psychological problems, then we need to get our Bibles out, dust them off, and discover what it says about the problems that we are facing. The Bible says there is nothing new under the sun. See Ecclesiastes 1.9, which tells me people have been having these same kinds of problems for years. Albeit we live in a modern age, 
So the world now categorized our problems, renames them, and puts them into a book that only the licensed professionals can understand. There are over 300 different so-called psychiatric disorders listed in the DSM-4, which is called the Psychiatric Bible. The professionals of psychology use it mainly to just explain your condition, which now has a new label, and then he or she prescribes a psychotropic drug supposedly to cure your condition. Well, God has his book too, and he calls it the Holy Bible, and it has been used for thousands of years to help people overcome their problems, not with the help of drugs, but with the help of the indwelling spirit. Why would God not give us a book for all of life and godliness? Is he not the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end? See Revelation 1.8. Do we believe that the stresses of the 21st century really caught God off guard and that he's not prepared to help us to overcome the problems of our age? Well, I'm afraid that a great many people believe that God and his word are no longer valid for our age. Satan has risen up a counter-religion in an attempt to explain man's bad behavior and his horrific acts of lawlessness. Through many years of indoctrination, the world is being led to believe that all bad behavior is an emotional or psychological problem caused by your parents, your upbringing, or your environment. In the midst of the great apostasy, the world is no longer trusting in God to deliver them from their sin, but now turning to the licensed professionals of psychology to solve their many problems. Just look at the statistics. The Surgeon General has reported in 1994, consequently about 28 to 30 percent of the population has either a mental or addictive disorder. Presently, in Marcia Engel's review of psychiatry, she wrote, We are seeing an apparent epidemic of mental illness. 46% of adults are diagnosed with mental illness at some point in their lives. Here's the tragedy. Many of these are professed Christians who have not sought God's counsel, but have lined up at the counselor's office like the rest of the world, believing that God had not given them everything they need for life and godliness. I will be right back after a 30 second station break. Are you prepared to stand firm against wars, plagues, pestilence, and every manner of catastrophe? Are you prepared to stand firm against the devastating natural disasters taking its toll on humanity? Are you prepared to stand firm against all the mental and psychological problems plaguing our planet? Are you prepared to stand firm against horrifying persecution and imprisonment for your faith? I'm so convinced we're living in the last days that I'm offering Stand Firm, a beautiful hardcover edition with an incredible discount available on my secure website through PayPal. Are you not ready to put your trust in Him who cares for you? Jesus said, Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock and the door will be open to you, Matthew 7, 7. Do you believe that? If we do, then we need to ask God to help us with our problems. And if we do, He will answer and lead us into all truth. I have done just that in my new book, Stand Firm, Godly Counsel for the Last Days. God's Word deals with anxiety, depression, loneliness, guilt, and all the other besetting sins that keep us from experiencing the new life in Christ. As a retired pastor and Christian counselor, I am so convinced that God has given His children everything they need to answer life's problems, that I have joined with this Kappa ministry, Christians Against Psychiatric Abuse, to present this series of broadcasts to you. My hope is that this series along with all of my writings, will help you escape the old life and begin to experience the thrill and wonder of the new life in Christ. This is Rev. Daniel Blair, Broadcasting Tribulation Radio, live from Round Rock, Texas. Subscribe today and join a growing movement to come out from the fallen brethren and standing firm.
We all know that Jesus Christ came to save the sinner and give them a new life in Him. But what many of us have forgotten is the true nature of sin. Yes, we have all sinned and fall short of the glory of God. But what is sin? We will all agree to disobey any of His commandments is sin. But how many can you quote? You might say, if I love God and my fellow man, that I have fulfilled His commandments. But don't forget that He has given us over 127 commands in the New Testament alone to show us how to love God and how to love one another. On our own, we cannot obey. But with God, all things are possible. Not only has He promised to save us, but give us the ability to obey all of His commandments and trust Him alone. This is all by the grace of God, not by works lest any man should boast. This grace comes through faith, believing in Jesus Christ who is the true Son of the living God, who died, was buried, and raised on the third day, opens a door to a new life in Him. This is a life where all of our sins are forgiven and we are made into a brand new creation where old things pass away. From the very first day, we are given the gift of the Holy Spirit to lead and guide us into all truth, producing every manner of spiritual fruit. This eternal life misses the sting of death and ushers us into His glorious presence. This free gift is given to those who are called into His kingdom. Dear friend, if you have not yet accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord by placing all of your trust in Him, to make you into a new creation and forgive you of all your sins, then you can do that right now in the privacy of your own home. Come to Jesus right now confessing and repenting of your sins, telling Him that you believe that He is the Son of the living God and the only path to salvation, asking Him to take full control of your life as Lord. Teresa Wiggins has a loving heart for the orphans, the widows, and the poor, and invites you to visit her website and make a tax-deductible donation today for one of these precious children. These are only two of the many hungry and deprived children that could use your help. The little girl and boy are from Uganda, Africa. Make your tax-deductible donation today using the PayPal button. Thank you for your help. Thank you for listening to Tribulation Radio. I pray that God has richly blessed your listening experience. Please help us spread the truth by telling your friends and family about Tribulation Radio. May our God bless and protect you until we meet again. Mm -hmm.